So, welcome back to Bit Gamey and the second half of the update, which is the um, actual ongoing projects as opposed to X projects. As I still did, still got the plan, inspired by the uh, One Hour War Games book, of um, of having uh, small units on a small table, so like you know proper normal kind of um, war gaming, but you know using small units. And I decided that you know units of twelve. You know, three bases of four is like the minimum. Um, and then looking for periods where that could work. Because, um, you know, in Napoleonics, you've got, you know, your you attack columns and squares and stuff. And that, uh, I mean, you could do you could do that with uh, three small three bases, but it just doesn't look right. Whereas uh, Horse and Musket is more um, line and column. And that's pretty much it. So, uh, so... So you can get away with um, these small units. At least that's, that's that's my theory. Anyway, I have to um, test it out. But that's the plan. It's it's not going to be um, the one-hour war games rules. Where well, it might be, but I mean it's, that's that's not the uh, that's not the thing. But it's just inspired by the idea of having these uh, battles between you know, four or six units, um, you know, randomly selected from a table, and uh, you know, finding out those little battles. So that, that's that's the plan anyway. So the idea is to get uh, two armies. In in the one hour war games rules, you've got a, you, you can have up to four line infantry, up to two cavalry, and up to two artillery, and you, 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 and it gets decided by a dice roll. So you might have a three or four line infantry, one or two artillery, one or two cavalry, etc. So um, so that's the plan is to, is to get uh, two armies of that or that that size. So four line infantry units in each one, um, and uh, and I would, I would say twelve figures each. Yeah, command base and uh, so you know eight, eight of these. As you know, you know, as you want to put as a, as two bases, and uh, a command base with these of four. So that's that's going to be the plan, and they have four units like that each each army. Um, it's not going to be, uh, you know, it's not going to be hundred percent proper for historical because um, you know I just like buying stuff from different manufacturers and stuff and just see what they like. So I'm going to have um, one that's Seven Years' War, one faction will be Seven Years' War. Like these are Seven Years' War Austrians from Crusader. Um, so I'll have two battalions, or two units of those, and two units of the Hungarian uh, version. For the Austro-Hungarians, and uh, and then there's these like these are um, War of the Spanish Succession. Oop. So I'm making another one army will be made up of War of the Spanish Succession, Spanish Succession, and the other army will be um, Austrian Seven Years' War. But you know it's okay. It's only going to be me. I'm just going to notice. But then yeah, the other thing is, like, if I do want to extend it later, then I, I'll, I can extend it out. But that's that's the plan. It's just to get a, get a whole bunch of these little small units done. I mean, it's going to take ages because I paint really slow. Um, and the other thing about, um, I mean, I got, I got that plastic box because you know, say so I wanted to see what, what they look like. But generally, if, if if this if this works out, if this small unit plan works out, then I mostly do metals because um, you know. I do prefer them. Uh, well, I can't assume to that exactly, but it's you know when they're nice, I like prefer them. Uh, I look so I like the weight. It just feels I don't know. There's a tactile element to it. But um, you know, buying thirty-six figure metal battalions is a bit is a bit ooh, a bit ouch. But um, doing twelve figures at a time, especially I won't buy it all in one go. I know a lot of people do that. They buy all the what they want for a project in one go. And that's you know makes sense probably, especially in terms of um, getting uh, discounts. Well, I don't want a giant pile. I don't. I don't want a giant pile staring at me. I want the. So I'm going to do it in bits and pieces. You know, getting uh, getting twelve figures a month or whatever it is, <laughs> paying them up slowly. So it'll be a while till I'm finished. But um, that's that's the plan for this. Uh, for this project is uh, is is two armies, two small armies of small units, of a uh, horse and musket period, 
and uh, have little bowels on my three foot table. And the other thing I say on that is say the uh, the other uh, other small small army project is going to be um, medieval, early or high, because say so pikes just don't look right at, unless there's lots of them. So it's got to be the bits of uh, some bit of medieval that doesn't have uh, pikes. So say early or high. So I don't quite know what you have. I'm, I'm um, leaning towards uh, Sicily, Normans, Normans in Sicily, because then you get uh, you know, if, you know you've got some you know, Arab units, Byzantine units, uh, Norman units, etc. Even out all the First Crusade or you know both. Um, I haven't decided what figures to get yet. So I'll be doing that in the meantime. Because the other thing about having these small units is, um, if you're going to have small units and you want still want to make a kind of good visual impact, then uh, you need a you need a time period with lots of flags, basically. Um, and yeah, the, the uh, horse and musket has uh, you know, a reasonable amount of flags, but in particular, the, but yeah, the, uh, the medieval, you know, don't really you can really go over the top with uh, with the flags. I imagine a lot of people have seen medieval warriors um, figures, and uh, also uh, Seventh Sons, Seven Years' War, and you can really go over, overboard with the uh, flags on that. Um, so those, that's, that's the, those are the two periods: the horse musket and that um, early medieval. Going to be my um, small unit or attempts at small unit armies. So yes, yeah, so that's that, and um, and then the. The next one is, is going back to the other other project, which is um, World War Two. Um, because uh, well, it's, that's, it's in a way it's, it's the worst subject for a small small uh, table. But I'll think of something. Oh yeah, and there's a uh, one thing I forgot to mention. So I mentioned in a previous um, video how there's like three kind of standard ways of doing uh, basing. You could have you know big bases which look you know look really good. But um, you know you can't do road column, and that's that makes them no good for me. Uh, then you got you know the other system where you have you know, multiple bases, and so you have you know, three bases, and they have like, four figures glued to each base or whatever. And then the the third option is where you have uh, you know individual individually based, and which is you know generally goes along with having individual casualties. And so these are uh, small unit um, small unit armies that I was going to do. Uh, for like seven years war or you know horse musket really um, broadly like a hundred years worth of it so I was going to experiment with uh, doing basing like that where they've got um, where it's like you know 12 of them but um, individually based just to see if um, how I feel about it because it ends it you know I've got um, three or I've got a bunch with a circular Circular base, uh, circular bases, and another bunch of square, just to see if um, one or the other appeals. So that's the idea. So there'll be twelve of those seven years wall figures in um, on bases like this, and then uh, in theory, I don't know if that's just what I'll do, but in theory, I can remove uh, casualties individually. So I'm not sure if I'm going to. You know, it's just an experiment, really. And that way, you know, you can, you know, in theory, you could use them for lots of different rules. You could use them for rules where you take off casualties individually, or rules where you take off, you know, where you're counting as bases, or in, you know, big base rules like impetus, you just treat three bases as if it's a single unit. So, um, yeah, so that's that as well.